Looking for a movie that'll take you on a roller coaster of emotions? Look no further than the 1944 classic, Going My Way. This heartwarming film follows the journey of a young priest, Father O'Malley, as he tries to revitalize a struggling parish. But hold on to your seats because there are many funny, shocking, and sad facts waiting to be uncovered as the story unfolds. Keep watching to discover them all. Ever wondered about some lesser known facts or anecdotes about this movie that fascinate you? Or perhaps you're curious about which role in the film stole the show for you? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear your stories and memories related to this timeless classic. Keep the conversation going. In the lively 1940s amid World War II, a standout movie emerged titled Going My Way. It tells the tale of a young priest, Father O'Malley, played by the famous actor Bing Crosby. Set in a small church in New York City, the film explores Father O'Malley's journey as he introduces new ideas to the traditional church. Going My Way is more than a movie. It shows the strength of people and the importance of kindness. Released during a tough time, it gave viewers hope. Bing Crosby's portrayal of Father O'Malley deeply touched audiences, showing a man devoted to helping others with care and empathy. The film's significance goes beyond its story. It gives a peek into the 1940s culture. From its memorable music to heartfelt acting, Going My Way still captures hearts, reminding us of how movies can move us. As we look back on this classic, we're reminded of timeless values. Going My Way remains a treasured part of movie history, continuing to inspire audiences of all ages. In 1912, he became the first person to sing the classic My Melancholy Baby at the Mozart Cafe in Denver, Colorado. While visiting a pub on Curtis Street, he encountered the songwriters George Norton and Ernie Burnett. That same night, he introduced My Melancholy Baby to the audience, which included the writer Damon Runyon. Runyon, known for his drinking, repeatedly called for him to sing the song throughout the evening. The movie had its first public showing on 27 April 1944 at 65 military locations, primarily in Europe. Early in his career, he was a member of the Robert Mitchell Boy Choir and appeared in Bing Crosby films like Going My Way and The Bells of St. Mary's. Going My Way, a film released in 1944, had John Wayne as its acting mentor. It made history by being the first film to have two actors win Academy Awards for their performances Bing Crosby for Best Actor and Barry Fitzgerald for Best Supporting Actor. Additionally, it was the first film to win Best Picture at both the Academy Awards and the Golden Globe Awards. These achievements solidified its place in cinematic history. In the movie Going My Way, Gene Lockhart, Porter Hall, and William Frawley appeared together in Miracle on 34th Street in 1947. The boys' choir that sang Swinging on a Star with Bing Crosby originated from St. Brendan's Catholic Church in Los Angeles in 1934. Eventually known as the Bob Mitchell Boys Choir, they featured in many Bing Crosby films and TV shows praised by Crosby as the best boys' choir globally. He and Vivian Vance harbored mutual contempt during the run of I Love Lucy, which likely influenced their characters on the show. Despite a chance for a spin-off, Vance declined due to her aversion to working with Frawley again. However, Vance continued to appear in Lucille Ball sitcoms and films, while Frawley found success as Bob on My Three Sons. In 1944, a movie called Going My Way became quite famous. It featured a song titled Swinging on a Star, which ranked 37 on the American Film Institute's list of top 100 movie songs in 24. Ten years later, a radio show called Lux Radio Theater aired a one-hour version of the film. The actor who played Father Fitzgibbon got nominated for both Best Actor and Best Supporting Actor at the Oscars, a rare achievement shared by only two others Al Pacino and Sylvester Stallone. Pacino got nominated for playing Michael Corleone in The Godfather, first as Best Supporting Actor in 1972, then as Best Actor in 1974 for the same role in The Godfather Part II. Similarly, Stallone got nominated for Best Actor in 1976 for his role as Rocky Balboa in Rocky and for Best Supporting Actor in 2015 for reprising the same role in Creed. Going My Way, directed by Leo McCary, holds a notable place in cinematic history. The film, released in 1944, is one of only 11 musicals to secure the Best Picture Academy Award. This esteemed list includes the Broadway Melody, the Great Ziegfeld, An American in Paris, Gigi, West Side Story, My Fair Lady, The Sound of Music, Oliver, Amadeus, and Chicago. What sets it apart is that McCary achieved a significant milestone. He became the first individual to claim Academy Awards for both directing and writing for the same film. McCary's achievements underline his creative talent in shaping the story and guiding the movie's execution. 
Interestingly, McCary is not only associated with going my way in the world of Best Picture winners, he also played a role in How Green Was My Valley, another Academy Award recipient, showcasing his versatility. Furthermore, his presence extends to two other Best Picture nominees, The Long Voyage Home and The Quiet Man. In essence, the movie not only secured a prime spot in the limited group of musicals winning the Best Picture Oscar, but also marked a historic achievement for its director and writer, Leo McCary. In 1944, the movie showcased Rissa Stevens, portraying Genevieve Linden, taking on the lead role in Carmen at the Metropolitan Opera. Notably, her official debut in this role at the Metropolitan occurred on December 28, 1945, a year after the movie's release. One outstanding aspect of the film lies in the recognition it received at the 17th Academy Awards in 1945. In the company of esteemed actors like Faye Bainter, Teresa Wright, Al Pacino, and others, the lead actor earned nominations in two distinct categories, Best Actor and Best Supporting Actor. This marked a rare feat, with only 12 actors ever achieving such dual nominations in the same year. Additionally, Going My Way stands out as the lone Best Picture Oscar nominee in its year to also secure a nomination for Best Song, specifically for the song Swinging on a Star. In summary, the movie, without delving into extravagant expressions, boasts Rissa Stevens' significant role at the Metropolitan Opera in 1944 and the notable Academy Award nominations, further distinguishing itself as the only Best Picture nominee concurrently nominated for Best Song. Going My Way, a Paramount production, became a part of the MC Universal Library in 1958 and has been under Universal's control since. It premiered on television in Omaha, Nebraska on November 11, 1958. Barry Fitzgerald, known for his roles alongside larger actors like John Wayne, played a Catholic priest in the film despite being Protestant in real life. He portrayed the character's religious gestures inaccurately, crossing himself from right to left instead of left to right. Despite this, the film remains a part of Universal's catalog and has been occasionally aired on Turner Classic Movies. Fitzgerald's presence alongside larger actors provided comedic contrast in many scenes, adding to the film's charm and humor. In the film, Father Fitzgibbons mentions he's been a priest for 45 years. This seems unlikely based on Barry Fitzgerald's age. He would have been 11 when he entered the priesthood, as he was only 56 at the time of filming. According to ticket sales, Crosby, with one of 77,000 tickets sold, ranks third among actors, following Clark Gable and John Wayne. Crosby also ties for second on the all-time number one stars list alongside Clint Eastwood, Tom Hanks, and Burt Reynolds, according to Quigley Publishing Company's International Motion Picture Almanac. Crosby was the top box office attraction for five years, second only to Tom Cruise, who held the position for seven years. He never felt comfortable with the out-of-sequence filming method used on my three sons after doing I Love Lucy in sequence for years. 